There's a saying in print on demand, the riches are in the niches. Now I'm Canadian, so I say niches, and niche marketing is one of the most important skills to learn in the print on demand world if you want to actually make real, consistent, sustained sales. So in this video, I'm going to use a program called Everbee, and this program is designed for use in Etsy. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use it for other print-on-demand platforms as well. Let's jump in. All right, so let's start off with a site like Redbubble, print-on-demand website, pretty big website. And here we've got Disco as our search term, and that brings us back 41,000 results. The thing we don't know when we look through Redbubble listings is what the demand is for Disco. Is there a lot of search terms? Are people looking for this day and night? We don't really know. So I'm gonna jump in now to Everbee, and we can see what people are actually searching for. Okay, so here's our Everbee interface. There's a menu along the left-hand side, and I'm going to click on the left-hand side under Keyword Research. And when I do that, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of results that come back, about 12 million results. But I'm gonna search here in the search window. I'm gonna type in the word Disco, and then I'm gonna click Search. Now it's gonna bring me back a keyword score here on the right hand side. A high keyword score is really good, a low keyword score is bad, and I can sort my related keywords down below. So the disco keyword will always stay at the top, that's not gonna change. But I can click on these other headers. Volume, this is the monthly search volume on Etsy. And I wanna point out it's on Etsy, not on Redbubble. And then there's also the competition, and then there's the keyword score. So I'm gonna click on the volume first of all. And we'll see if there's any high volume search terms like disco. So disco is a pretty vague, you know, broad search terms. So there's 2,200 search terms. And then it goes down from there. But we can see there's other search terms underneath that are similar to disco. It's like, huh, well, maybe there's some opportunity here to see if there's a double niche. So check this one out. Here's disco bachelorette. It's almost the same search results as Disco. There's 2200 Disco and Disco Bachelorette is 1392. That's pretty close. And there's way, way less competition on Etsy. There's 120,000 listings on Etsy for Disco. But for Disco Bachelorette, there's barely 14,000. That's way less. So the keyword score is much, much higher. So Disco Bachelorette is pretty interesting. I click on Disco Bachelorette and I've copied the keyword. Let's jump back into Redbubble. So remember back on Redbubble, we had 41,000 results for Disco. When I type in Disco Bachelorette and we search, we're going to see way, way less results, 295 results. Huh. Well, this now gives us an opportunity to see if there's maybe a space for us inside of Redbubble. Now, I want to point out, we still don't know if there's a ton of searching going on for this on Redbubble. But I think it's reasonable to think that if people are searching for something on Etsy, they're probably searching for something similar on other print-on-demand sites as well. At least there's a chance. Now I'm on another print-on-demand website. This is TeePublic. I'm going to type into TeePublic just a very generic search term, Christmas. And I can feel the soul leaving your body as I do this because there's way too many results here. This is going to be 50 pages at least. 50 pages is the maximum they show, but I mean, there's just way more. It's just thousands and thousands of images. It's such a super competitive niche. You kind of just give up and go, eh, what's the point? So let's jump into Everbee and see if we can do anything with this very depressing keyword. So we can see here the keyword for Christmas. Now this search volume's on Etsy, but look at the competition on Etsy. Holy moly, the keyword score is zero. It's like, okay, well, let's just give up. Well, hold on, not so fast. Why don't we start typing in names of people and see if something comes up? We'll do Christmas mother, for example. And the keyword score is 10. It's not necessarily great. Let's pick another family member here, Christmas aunt. Oh, keyword score is 20. Okay, maybe we're getting somewhere. So check this out. Down below, there's related keywords. And so I can scroll on through and I can brainstorm if there's other things to look at. There's a gift for ant. Hmm, maybe ant is a searchable term. There's lots of people searching for ant-related items on Etsy. And check this one out. Ant 
pregnancy. Now, it's not related to Christmas at all. I want to be very clear. But 1,000 is being searched. There's only 17,000 results and a keyword score of 60. Well, let's check this one out. I'm going to copy ant pregnancy for my keyword. And I'm going to go back into T Public, And I'm going to completely change my keyword now to ant pregnancy. And look at the results we get back for ant pregnancy. Okay, there's a few results back. But when I scroll down to the bottom, there's only seven pages total. It's not 50 pages, it's not 100 pages, it's not a million billion pages. So all of a sudden, we've got at least a chance of scoring on even a very big website. So sometimes Everbee can be awesome for just simply brainstorming. You type in one random keyword and you start looking through and you see all the different results that can come back. Here's another one, announcement ant. 973, I wonder what she's announcing. Hmm, maybe she's pregnant. So I'm gonna copy these keywords. I'm gonna go back in here to T Public. I'm gonna type in announcement and, and we can see here in this case, when I scroll down, do we get 50 pages? No, we get nine pages. And so there's way less competition here when you're looking through. So it's gonna take time, it takes effort, but this is a great tool for you to use because you can, easily see what's being searched and what the competition is in Etsy and then you can relate it using the search features in the print on demand sites like T Public, like Redbubble to find out how bad the competition is. And in this case, it's pretty good. If you like what you see with Everbee, I'm going to put a link in the video description below. Just a heads up, the link to Everbee is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on it and you purchase Everbee, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend it. I use it. It's a great investment. So you're not just spending countless hours making stuff that nobody's ever going to see. It's very depressing to go through your print-on-demand journey like that. I highly recommend trying to niche down to find things that people will actually buy. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey.